Social imagination is an invitation to imagine together the kind of world or society we want to live in. What are our values and how might we be together? What would this look like? I'm Kira Lowther from the Centre for Public Impact Australia and New Zealand, and we want to explore how the practice of social imagination might bring us more expansive thinking around climate action. We began with belonging in the South Bank of Melbourne, exploring how we might belong to each other, to the place of South Bank, to the planet, and to future generations. By exploring ideas around building belonging, we might build solid grounding for sustained climate action. People are more active in places and groups where they feel a sense of belonging, ownership and responsibility. My name is Ryan, I'm from Hinterland. Uh, we work in belonging, connection to nature and place, to friends and community. Uh, we work in design and systems change and in imagination. So we designed a five-day journey to take people on over a few different weeks. We started with this idea of preparation. We convened a group, we wanted them to meet their fellow travelers. We wanted them to have a shared sense of purpose and to understand the journey that they were gonna take. I think the connections um, with the community, with the people, um, in South Bank um, and how I can best use that within my work as well. The second day was all about, we called it departure, and it was setting out on the learning journey about South Bank, about each other, about the future, and about different ideas from around the world about how to change a society and to live in a society we could be proud of. Yeah, it's been a big experience. That's the best, best, part, best way to put it. The way I approach my local environment, the things around me, the people around me, all of that has shifted. It's just opened my eyes to a lot, of, a lot of what's around me and who's around me and how amazing the people around me are and can be. The third day was we called Tower and it was, uh, it was up in the tallest tower that you can be in in South Bank and it was all about getting a sense of perspective. We spent a lot of time talking about our own values, what was important to us and why, our cultural and societal values. Some of these people are very, seem very committed to the, um, the community and sustainability, so yeah, it's very exciting. <laughs> I think the biggest takeaway is just be courageous just to take a chance and see where it takes you. Fourth day was called Ground, and we were down in a community center right in the midst of South Bank, thinking about what does it mean to put those big values into practice? What could it mean for our own lives in small ways? What could it mean for South Bank as a whole? I was extremely excited because I felt at last that someone was actually going to listen and to go to the um, length and depth of having a five day, full day um, workshop, I thought, well, these people are serious. As South Bankers, we love our home. Um, we just want it to feel more like a home. We need change and we need it now. We can't wait for five years time. We need it now. We want to belong to our homes and not just be passing through and the last day was called Return. And we went back to where we began, which was at an art gallery. We tried to bring in all kinds of different modalities, starting with uh, you know, world building and literature, over to design and creativity. We brought in inspiration from around the world about how people are thinking differently about our society. We spent a lot of time, as I've said, on our values and what's important to us. And we talked a lot about our legacy, our place in society, what we might leave to future generations. I found um, a new set of friends, like-minded friends, that we met outside. We met the last Sunday and we were talking like, like we have known each other for quite a while. And I think I found my first followers or even my leaders or we collectively we could be a tipping point. Yeah. We're a movement. Yeah, we're a movement. Yeah, that's the word. We're a movement. The group continues to meet at regular intervals to support and learn from each other and build the belonging that we need to be the change that we need in the context of this climate crisis.